Welcome back to another episode. Ryan here with Chaos MMA. And today we have on Sabina Mazza, who fights March 12th against now Miranda Maverick at UFC Vegas. First off, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing really good, actually. It's been a, a really cold day, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I saw you were doing that thing on your story. You were like sitting in the snow. Is that, was that like part, is that to help like help the body and stuff for your upcoming fight? Yes, uh, some recovery. I mean, usually it's an ice bath, but I don't have that right now with me. So I, you know, use my, the resources that I have and um, get some recovery in for, for my next training. So, yeah. No, that, that's definitely a great way to recover, I bet, and help the body. And I saw you were in uh, New York last weekend. How, how was that? And how, how do you enjoy New York and everything? Um, it's amazing. I love that city, honestly. Um, it's amazing to have the opportunity, you know, to escape a little bit uh, from all the training and, you know, get a different vibe and a different uh, refresh, you know, to start the week. So, yeah, I went the weekend over there, but I'm back here in uh, Connecticut where I'm doing my my camp for this fight. Yeah, and speaking of your camp for this fight, how about this past week? Because you had an opponent for a couple of weeks now, and then we find out recently now, I think it was like two days ago, Miranda Maverick stepping in on short notice to fight you. So how has it been for you these past couple of days to deal with all this and everything? So, yeah, I mean, it was two days ago where my opponent, the or original opponent, Mandy Boom, got hurt. So, um, you know, it was... It was kind of a bummer because I thought for a second that I was not going to be able to fight, you know, it's a short notice. So I don't know. I feel really grateful that she, Miranda, accepted the fight and step in because, you know, the, the, the plan has been uh, for so many weeks that I don't want to, you know, I really want to show my work and I want to, you know, um, put everything in that I've been working in. It's just some adjustments, a different opponent. But, you know, in this game, you got to be ready for everything. It could change again. So, um, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, it is a crazy sport. Anything can change. But when did you did, when you first heard about it, was it two days ago or was it a little before you knew that your opponent wasn't going to be able to fight you in March 12th and everything got to change up? No, it was two days ago. Okay. It was, uh, it was, let me I have it here. It was Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday where Tuesday night and then third Wednesday was like um, where everything got a little bit clear and managers and everything. So yeah, it was very recent. Yep. No doubt. And speaking of Miranda and everything, I know it's only been two days and everything, but have you got to watch like film on her at all to see how she fights? And do you kind of know a little bit more about her now after everything that's happened? Yes, for sure. You know, I've been um, studying a little bit more the division for a long time. So I'm always aware of the fighters that are coming or any fighter um, in the division that it's, you know, around. So I'm always trying to check and learn and, you know, visualize because I see myself fighting against a lot of them. So I knew for sure who she was. I knew um, I've seen her last fights. But yes, when I asked up to fight, of course, uh, um, I studied a little bit. I saw a little bit of her, you know, but this game, it's not only about your opponent. It's about yourself and what adjustments you can do, you know. Like I said, it could change again. You never know. So, um, but yeah, the focus is right now. It's against her. So, yes, I studied and, you know, making the adjustments, get back to training, and it just keeps going the same. Well, that's actually pretty cool. So you've been studying, like, everyone, like, in your division. So, like, like say something like this happens, like, you know about them already before even the change happens. So that's actually pretty cool thing because I've never heard that before but that's pretty cool by you and that probably helps you so much by studying like everyone in your division I bet right yeah yeah I mean you gotta be that's my job honestly fighting is my job and studying is part of it it's very important it's essential to get to know who are your possible opponents in the future and to know just who is around you know because the, the sport is evolving it's growing so I don't know I, I try to make that uh part of my homework and um, constantly you know checking the girls that are in the division or you know yeah yeah no doubt and you speak you know this fight and I saw what you're training you got to train you're training with the champ Glover Tukshara I see so how cool is that you know because he's one of the best in the sport right now he had a long career gets the belt so how cool has that been to train with someone like that 
it's been an amazing opportunity for me, you know, um, because he's an amazing fighter, but also the energy that he has and the knowledge that he passes and he's so humble that honestly, I, I feel like home over here. And uh, it's been an amazing experience to train along and learn along um, with him, you know, on his side. And the, all the other champs that are in this gym, you know, um, Alex Pota, he's going to be fighting. Uh, say, I will be fighting the same day as him. So I'm excited for him. And he's a legend in boxing. His sister is also a um, kickboxer, and she has a lot of knowledge fights. And she's been helping me for the fight as well. So, you know, I feel like it's uh, very complete uh, where I'm at right now. And it's just that uh, I feel comfortable. I feel you know, I'm learning a lot with, uh, with all of them. So, yeah. Yeah. That like you're a trainer, one of the best guys in the world. So like, how much better do you think you've gotten over this camp compared to the last camp? Like how much better do you think you are now training with the guy like that and training with other legends, like you said? Um, you know, I think the, the, I'll be able to show in the bite, you know, how much better I have gotten so far. So I'm just excited to show all that progress in the fight no doubt two weeks out now about Miranda Maverick March 12th do you have an official prediction on how you're going to go out there and get your hand raised for this one man um I think patience is going to be the key and uh any any strike can finish the fight so I'm ready for it can't wait can't wait and speaking of this fight you know we know your last two fights haven't gone your way but we saw how you're getting better now you're in the gym more and more so do you feel like this is a must win to go out there and show the UFC like yeah I got him better now I'm still going to be able to fight in this company so how important do you think this fight is for you you know every fight is very important for me yeah my my fight my upcoming fight it's always going to be the most important fight I have in my career so uh, I dedicate and I put all my effort to it you know, and I'm focused on giving him the best performance I can in this fight. You know, the past is the past. And um, yes, I didn't have the results, but I learned a lot from it. And um, I think that new version and that uh, building up that version that I want to show is it's, it's on the making. So for sure, um, you know, I'm, I'm just excited and I feel very um, good with myself to, to step in the cage and uh, show that, that progress that I made. Yeah, no doubt. It seems like you would move way past that. And it seems like your camp's going well for this fight. Good to hear and everything. You get your hand raised March 12th. When would you like to get back in there? Are you looking to stay very active in 2022 and, you know, just take fights whenever you get offered and everything? Yes, definitely. You know, I want to, I want to fight often. I want to get at least three fights this year if possible. So I'm going to be in constant, you know, um, constant fights and, and get that rhythm and don't you know don't stop too long so yeah focus first is 12 and then after that you know we'll, we'll schedule it yeah no doubt and i gotta ask i would if the ufc called you and said would you take a short notice fight would you be interested in something like that like taking an opportunity like that yeah i will yeah you know it's uh it's it's just matter of you know how if you're injured if you're not but for sure i will I'm, I'm up to that as well very great to hear i cannot wait for this fight coming up and last thing here i gotta get your prediction on the upcoming fight coming out coming up in a week colby covington jorge masvidal how do you see this one playing out who do you got winning this fight in a week uh you know it's it's an exciting fight for sure for the fans um, there's a lot of a bit behind the fight but uh, I'm just excited, you know. I don't have any predictions for right now. I'm just excited to, to see those two good in the cage. But, you know, let's see. Yeah, no doubt going to be a great fight in one week. Tune in March 12th to see Sabino fight Miranda Maverick. And for you, thanks for coming on. It was great speaking with you. And if you want to thank any sponsors, shout out any social media. The floor is yours. Thank you for the interview. And um, to all the fans, everyone, just tune in. You know, everyone, uh, South America as well. I'm just excited to step again in the cage and don't miss it. Thank you. Come, thank you for coming on. Good luck for your fight. It was great speaking with you. Thank you. Have a good Have one. Bye-bye.